lift off of Artemis 1. The November sky over Cape Canaveral, Florida burst into light as the U.S. space agency NASA for the first time launched its long-awaited Artemis 1 mission. The SLS rocket, the most powerful ever to fly a successful mission, carried an uncrewed Orion spacecraft that would go on to orbit the moon. I'm telling you, we've never seen such a, a tale of flame. China had its big autumn moment, too, <laughs> launching the third and final module and docking a laboratory to its Tiangong space station. The only other one up there, the International Space Station, the ISS. With its new orbiting station, China climbed the leaderboard, surpassing Russia and closing in on the U.S. for space supremacy. 2022 was filled with firsts. Two, one, zero. Indian startup Digintara launched the world's first commercial space weather monitoring system. It's designed to model and predict near-Earth radiation. Solar storms are notorious for damaging and crippling orbiting satellites. NASA's DART spacecraft slammed into an asteroid named Dimorphos, the first ever test to demonstrate the ability to deflect an asteroid that might be on a collision course with Earth was a success. Oh, wow. Dimorphos was a good test candidate because it was never a threat to Earth. NASA's new James Webb telescope started sending back images of the universe never before seen. And China's Mars rover, prowling a region of the red planet, found evidence that water flowed on Mars more recently than scientists thought. Still, it was millions of years ago. The conflict in Ukraine had an impact on space, too. Elon Musk's SpaceX company is providing the Ukraine government access to thousands of its Starlink satellites for communication. The European Space Agency terminated its agreement with Russia to launch the ExoMars rover, likely delaying the mission until at least 2028. By then, NASA is planning to have astronauts walking on the surface of the moon, while China is aiming to put Taikonauts on the surface by 2030. John Zarella for CGTN America, Cape Canaveral, Florida.